Here we are at Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. We've got Francis here with us, uh, Regional Sales Manager from PSC. He's here to explain the new 2010 bows, and uh, this is the Vendetta XS. XL. This X is a long one, XL, a big one. a long guy. Here we yeah. go. I'm real excited about this one. So this one here will go all the way up to 32 and a half inches of draw length. Uh, from, big guys. Yeah. Big, big guys. It'll go and goes down to about 26 and a half. So it's got six inches of draw adjustability. Again, it is the same, similar cam as the XS, the same cam actually. It's called the, the butter new cam. The new, it draws <laughs> like butter. It it's does. the new L6 cam. And uh, it's kind of unique, uh, unique the way it's designed on this side, the power stroke force of it. And then you look on the other side, it's round wheeled. So it's kind of like, best way to describe it is it's half of a hybrid and half of a single cam. Yeah, it draws and feels an awful like a single cam, like earlier. It's, it's probably one of the smoothest drawing bows I've ever drawn as far as the draw cycle in it and stuff goes. And it has great speed too. Uh, this bow right here, again, I said it's 35 inches axle to axle, has a brace height of seven and a quarter inches. Uh, IBO speed's right around 330. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's just a great bow it, for the taller guys and the guys that like a little longer axle to axle. I, the draw cycle on it is just unbelievable. But you just 32 inches, I mean, 32 and a half, right? Yep. I mean, you gotta be a big guy to get that. And nobody out there really makes a bow that's gonna reach out to a 32 and a half inch draw. Again, another feature on this cam is that all the adjustability is done by this mod that slides. So you have six inches of adjustability here. All you do is line up. Uh, let's see, right now it looks like we're in the D slot. It says D right here, and there's a little line in the center, D to D, and then you're in the D post. You can adjust this in half inch increments. Uh, it's it's really yeah. As long as you can basically figure out a straight line, you can change these <laughs> change the draw length at home. Do it yourself. I yeah, mean, it's no a, bow press required. It's a really easy system that they've got going on here. But you know, anybody that really can get a bow like this here, like you said, if you want a little longer bow. I mean, it's almost long enough that a guy can maybe even, I don't know if you'd want to shoot with fingers or not, but you could probably. I mean, as long as sure. you don't get the finger pinch out of it. And um, Francis just drew it and you didn't seem to bother him. So I think, you know, a guy could shoot with fingers, but I, 32 and a half inches, I just can't get over that for a big guy, you know, to own a boat like this and fast. Another great thing is the backstop. We haven't mentioned this on all of them, but this works really well. It's a great feature that comes on the majority of the PSE bows. And again, this bow also has some of the great things that PSE is known for, the extra sight window mounting holes for your sight and also your alignment marks, which are really nice. When your arrow is through the center of that burger buttonhole, so you can just see the top of that line squared off at the 90 this way, that's your, that's your knocking point. And then right here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's your center shot mark. As long as you can just, your arrow is right over the top of that line or inside it a little bit. It's wonderful. The nice thing is if you're ever out hunting and this moves, you don't have to go to an archery shop. You just loosen it up and put everything back to the way it was and you're good to go. It's kind of some neat features. Yeah. Well, thanks, Francis. And uh, we'll hope you guys stop by and see us again at Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com.